guys i am back with another review um i actually did a um haul which included this which is natural plus this is a hispanic old company if i'm not wrong this is specifically a dominican um company and um there's one less product in here because it was the hair drop for hair growth for this guy specifically i really ran out of it um but i think they don't sell it on the website anymore however um since they don't web they don't sell that anymore i'm unable to actually do a proper review on that and that's only because um i mean one bottle doesn't tell me much difference however i didn't really see much of a difference in one bottle however like i mentioned it does, you can't really see a difference now the way it is, I had it's it says it in Spanish, so I initially had a little bit of difficulty. Even in my video that I actually did the haul in, I actually did say that I had no idea what this what it said, and I will do a follow up review on this, a follow up video as a review on it, and I'll let you guys know what these products are. Now, I am gonna start with the pre stuff. The only pre product I'm not able to tell you free shampoo product i'm not able to do a review on is this one right here um because there is actually like two products that i'm supposed to use beforehand before washing my hair so this one did not make sense to do it but i'm going to do a separate video on this specifically so that's out of the picture for now so um one of the pre shampoos uh was this one this is like a deep um conditioner which is supposed to basically supposed to help with the damaged hair so i am supposed to be leaving this on for at least one to three hours but if your hair is severely damaged then you have to leave it up leave it in for up to three hours i would normally leave this overnight i have seen a difference with this product however i feel like in combination with the other products like the shampoo and conditioner did not really help much but i feel like this product on its own separately from the shampoo and conditioner does make one does help a little bit um to a certain extent but i have seen a lot more better deep conditioners than this um and they have helped my hair a lot more better compared to this one um it's just the way it feels because i feel like um i feel like like the first day or two it does help but then afterwards it just kind of dries out a lot and i don't like how it feels then um so that uh the overall product itself is a no for me in general um and then this is the this one right here is the pre shampoo um i have no idea what that is for it just basically says to put it on your scalp um for a day however um it actually gave me a negative reaction not on my scalp but on my cheeks it just ended up getting my face to be really really red and i do not like that um surprisingly it did not help on my scalp as scalp as much so because of it giving a negative reaction to me i did not continue using it um again well i was trying to say again for this video because i didn't mention in this video but i did mention it in my other videos um if you have a negative reaction do not continue using it wash your hair wash your face whatever the case is and other thing is that just because something worked for me or or did not work for me does not mean that it's going to be the same thing for you um it may work for you it may not work for you um in this scenario that was a major no-go for me i completely hated it so i just stopped using it um then this is the shampoo um the shampoo definitely just completely dried out my hair it just completely i feel like this will be one of those shampoos that will completely strip out strip out the oil from your hair um i feel like because of the shampoo i have to start washing my hair more often and i normally wash my hair every two days but because of this product i have to wash my hair every other day uh, which is not helping me out the product itself looks like it's almost like a jelly form um, but once you put it in your hair, it does break down and everything. Um, however, I did not like how my hair feels. Now, moving on to these two. These two are both the products that you're supposed to use after the con after shampooing. 
Now, I had no idea how to use this. The only thing it says is that this is supposed to be used after shampooing. And you're supposed to leave it on for 5 to 10 minutes. And this one, it just says that you're supposed to use it after sham shampooing. But it doesn't mention how long. Nor it doesn't mention in any of those two products that I'm um, supposed to use this together with this or not. Um, first, I used it separately. Um, like, I alternated. I used it separately to see how my hair feels. And then I used these two together meaning I did the shampoo and then I put this on for for a minute or two and I left this on for five to ten minutes um, depending on the days and the circumstances and stuff like that meaning if I had to go to work or if I was at home or what the situation is however I didn't need, notice that if I was using these two on a separate occasion not together on a, in the same shower that my hair would there will be time where my hair the same day will feel okay-ish, especially if I put it in the leave-in conditioner. It will be okay to a certain extent, but it will get dry within a couple of hours to 24 hours. Um, definitely the next day, I will definitely see my hair feeling dry, and um, it almost felt like my hair color was changing, So I have, um, which I ended up stopped using. Um, and then I used it together as well in one shower for two, three days. I feel like the softness and stuff did last a little bit, a couple more hours. But the next day, it definitely did make my hair feel a little bit more drier. So that was a no-go. That's why I didn't end up liking it. I feel like I don't want to continue using these products. The leave-in conditioner is a no-go completely because I feel like it did minimal effort to, to make my hair feel better. Um, being that being said, like, this did a little bit of the work and that did a little bit of the work, but then, like I said, max, my hair just stayed okay, like, for 24 hours. Um, not the best. I've seen my hair feeling a lot more better with other products. Um, and last but not the least, this is also something that's supposed to be used afterwards. It's like a serum. Um, it's just supposed to make your hair look good. Um, I felt like by the time I was using, well, when I used both of these products or even just the leave-in condition, I felt like my hair, since my hair is like on a finer side and I cannot be putting a lot of products, I just felt like it just made my hair look greasy. And the weird thing is that if I was using other products and I used like two products afterwards, after I washed my hair, my hair still did not look greasy. But when I used just the leave-in conditioner or both, my hair did look greasy. And the bad part is that... Um, if I were to straighten my hair, I would not be able to use the heat protectant. And I just completely remember there was another product, which is actually the heat protectant itself. And um, the thing is that if I were to use the heat protectant, I would have to use only one of those products. Um, and then use that because and my hair will still feel greasy. And after I straightened hit my hair or curled it or whatever the case may be, my hair felt okay ish but just like to make it feel a little bit more okay and not too greasy is that if i keep on blow drying my hair first in order to make it feel less ish greasy so i would probably try to use the hair protectant with another product to be on the safe side to see how my hair reacts to it so you guys would probably get two separate reactions a separate video for those two um, I probably might even do a separate video for this just to see how it turns out without using these products. So I would definitely use these three products on a separate note um, just to be on the safe side and see how my hair turns out. But overall, other than that, these products, well, this one is a maybe, but other than that, in general, I feel like this product overall is a no-go. Those ones, I'm going to try out furthermore to see how my hair reacts to it. But yeah... It, my skin did not react really good. My skin started getting very, really, very really red. Um, rest did not really help much with the hair situation overall. So, other than that, let me know if you want me to try any other products. I will try my best. Other than that, I'll be linking both my surrounding pages down below. Make sure to follow, hit the subscribe button, the bell button, and I'll be back for more. Stay safe and stay tuned, guys.